the land before time, there was nothing but a vast expanse of darkness, and within that was a great and powerful being named Alonius. Alonius was a king-sized cosmic being, and his body stretched across the entirety of the universe. He had long, shimmering golden hair that fluttered in the wind and eyes that shimmered like stars in the night sky. Alonius lived alone through the ages, watching the universe with care. But sadly, over time, Alonius grew lonely. He yearned for companionship, so he decided to create something that would keep him company. He gathered stardust from passing meteorites and stars that had passed through recent starbursts. Alonius then fashioned them into a small glowing orb. He breathed life into the orb, and it came to life, and space rose brighter than the stars. Amazed by his creation, he named the orb Sol, and he placed it in the sky. Sol looked small, but Alonius could see his personality shining through. Every day, Sol would rise in the sky, bringing light and warmth to the universe, and every night, it would set, giving way to the darkness. But Sol was not content with just shining in the sky. It longed to explore the universe and discover new things. So, Alonius gave Sol a mission to travel through the universe, to explore its secrets, and to bring back knowledge of all that it had discovered. Sol was ecstatic to have the opportunity to shine brightly for all to see. Sol set out on its journey, traveling through the universe and discovering new worlds and stars. As Sol roamed through the darkness, it began to create. It saw wonders beyond its wildest dreams, and it marveled at the beauty of the universe. Wherever it went, it left a trail of light that illuminated the darkness. And as it flew around, Sol left a trail of stardust, and from that stardust, the planets were born, each unique with its own landscapes and ecosystems. As Sol wandered through his creations, it stumbled upon a planet unlike any other. This planet was covered in water, with waves that crashed into the land where it met trees that grew as tall as the sky. Sol was intrigued and decided to explore this new world. As Sol continued on its journey, it encountered new life each with their own unique characteristics and abilities. Some were kind and gentle, while others were fierce and dangerous. However, Sol approached them with curiosity and respect, wanting to learn more from them and share its light with them. Sol decided to travel deep into the ocean. It encountered a being unlike anything it had yet seen. This creature was majestic with a shimmering complexion that glistened in the starlight and a powerful tail that propelled it through the water. Sol was stunned by the creature's beauty. With everything Sol encountered, it was eager to get back to Alonius. Sol returned to Alonius and told him all the wonderful stories of his adventure and asked Alonius to join. Together, Sol and Alonius explored the vast new world, creating new life forms and shaping the landscape as they pleased. They created everything from pure white snowy mountains, big red rocks that glowed in the sun, to crystal blue lakes. As they worked together, they began to find their meaning to life. They were meant to create, shape the universe, and bring new life into being together. And so it was. Alonius was never alone. Traveling through the universe with soul as it spread light and warmth wherever it went. To this day, they continue on their journey, shining brightly and illuminating the darkness, creating new wonders together for all to see.